If you can't stand the heat, get off the tracks. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Moon Studio Iron Arm. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have a nice image of Iron Arm in his train mode, in his robot mode. His name is Iron Arm. On this side we have Iron Arm. On this side we have Iron Arm. On the bottom, nothing. On the top, Iron Arm, Radiotron. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. This that things and stuff and the other. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Iron Arm, the next component of Moon Studios Radiotron, their take on Raiden, and this is their take on Kain. I believe I'm pronouncing that right, sorry if I'm butchering it. So, weird thing happening here, as you can see now, what I do now is I start the review from whatever mode the figure is packed in, and um, yeah, he's, he's packed in combined mode, they packed him in pants mode! I don't know, I don't know why, but they did, so yeah, more like shorts mode, really. But yeah, they packed them in combined mode, so we're starting in combined mode. This is how he comes right out of the box. It's weird, I know, but this is this is what they did. They, they, okay, I'll go with it, I'll go with it, but yes, here he is, in combined mode. Here he is in pants mode, you can see he forms like the waist, crotch, and uh, uh, thighs here of the combiner and you know hey it looks good it looks solid i can work with it um everything does come together very nicely very solidly get a nice orange in there near the combiner the combiner uh pegs here more like tabs like t tabs here this is all die cast by the way this is die cast so nice and strong then move at the back the radiotron booty and all that good stuff, so yeah. And as you can see, the front and the back are exactly the same. That's one thing about this figure that actually kind of irks me, is there's no real definite front and back. Both sides are the same. Even the legs are the exact same mold. So the same transformation steps you do on one side, you do on the other side in the exact same directions. So everything's just kind of... Uh Everything's just kind of duplicated, um, so really, you can make this the front if you wanted to, but I believe the way I have it, um, this is this is the front here, because these armatures here always end up on the back in every mode, so it seems like this is probably the front, but yeah, there he is in combined mode. There's not much to talk about with combined mode, it's just, there he is, he's a, he's a waist, crotch, and legs. Hooray for waist, crotches, and legs. And as usual, I'll go over all the articulation when we review the full combined mode, but, um, yeah, that's, that's the combined mode. Not much to talk about here. It's just, that, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is, but there you go. So without further ado, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So now we are going to go into robot mode. This is the order that the instructions will go in, so that's the order I'm going to go in. So to get him into robot mode, you're going to take these side panels here. Just bring them down and bring them down. You're going to undo these sections here. You want to pull this side up because this hooks over this side. So it's going to get in there. Just kind of pull on one side and then kind of push on the other. And just kind of get that undone like that. Open that up. Swing this around. And it's going to get in there. Just kind of get a little wiggle wiggle and just kind of again pull up on one side. Gonna push on the other, and there we go. Open that all up like so. Then you just kind of untab these sections here. There's a tab that goes to a slot right here, so it just secures in. So bring that back. And this is one thing that bugs me about this figure: is these parts, these parts right here, just kind of flop around while you're busy messing with everything else. I don't like that. I don't like loose, floppy parts, but it is what it is. But once you have done that, um, you can. Unpeg these sections here, and you want to raise OBA shoulders up on this hinge here. Just kind of bring everything up and out. So unpeg this, rotate that up, bring that out, and just kind of get everything out of the way as best you can. The crotch plate you have to untab. It is very secure, so you might need a spudger, some kind of tool to just kind of help you get in there. Pop that open, and get it on the other side. Get out of my way, and just kind of pop that out like so. 
So now you want to make sure that these selection, at least one side for now, is just slid down so you can rotate his head around. Hi. Whoop. Hey. Hi. There you go. So you can now take these sections and slide them up. Slide them up like that. Again, get these out of your way. And stay. I don't like floppy parts. But one thing that bugs me about this figure, one thing that irks me in general about transformations, is when you have floppy parts. But anyway, you want to bring this whole assembly out, flip these little panels up. You're going to collapse this panel down to this hinge right here. So collapse that down and then bring that up. And that will sit right there like that. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Second so versus like the first. So just straighten this out. Flip up these two little panels here. And then collapse this down. Bring that up. Like so. That's going to sit there like that. And we got to bring these out. Like so. Again, just get things out of your way as best as you can. Oops. Get there situated. There we go. So now this is going to come up. This is going to tab right here. Spin that up. Plug it in, plug it in. And then what we're going to do here is these side sections will shift upward like so. Shift up like that. And then these will just rotate down. You stay. Rotate down like that. And then this panel will come around and a tab and a slot connection right there. Bring that back and tab that in. Bring that back and tab that in like so. And that forms his chest. And get these out of the way. And you gotta do the same thing on the back. Because again, both sides are the same. So bring that up, tab that in, shift these sections up, rotate down. Rotate down, bring that in, tab that in, bring that in, tab that in, and then the shoulder will come down. You can see there are two notches that are going to bridge this section right here. So bring that down, that will tab in, and that will further lock everything into place. So bring the other side down, and just tab that in like so. And there you go. So you have the chest, and you have the back, you can see both sides look the same. And now we are going to work on these. Now we can get these little floppy bits situated and not flopping anymore. So you want to make sure that the hinges are, all these hinges here are sitting in this orientation there. You want this hinge coming up at a 90 degree angle. So what we are going to do here is we're just going to rotate this in, fold this in, and then bring it in like so. Rotate that in, fold that in, it'll tap into itself, bring that in, and then fold this piece over it like that. And guess what? Second verse is just like the first. So again, make sure that is angled just right. Rotate that in, collapse, fold that in, rotate, collapse, fold that in, and bring that over it. Once you've done that, you just take two halves, and they will tab together. Like so. And yeah, tabs are going to slots right here. Just tab that in on the other side. Tab it in. And there you go. That's how you want all that looking back there as far as all those hinges as well. There you go. There you guys, backpack all situated. Now it's not flopping around anymore. Hallelujah. So there we go. We'll leave the arms for last. Now we will work on the lower region. So it helps if you kind of bring his legs out a click. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here into the crotchial region here. You're going to bring down these two locking pieces and bring those down. That will allow you to then bring all of this out. Now bring out his crotch and his butt plate. Open these up. Open that up. And you're going to flip out these little, little hooks, little hook tabs right here. And then you're going to just bring all of this in. 
like so. They will interlock. And then you just bring this crotch and butt plate down. That'll just tab in. And lock all that into place. And you can just kind of get up under, get up in his crotch here and just push those two hooks together. And that will further lock things into place. So we got the crotch your region all done here. So now let us work on the legs. So what we're going to do with his legs here is I'm going to come back here. Open this up. And again, these legs are the exact same mold. So both of these hinges, as you can see, they open up the same way. Everything goes the same way. So you're going to open this up. You're going to just kind of untab these side panels here. And then you want to pull them up. So you can bring them all the way out. Pull that up. Bring that out. You want to take a little combiner post here. Just flip this up to get this out of the way, and then you can unfold all of this. Then you're going to take this and push it in like that. And that'll get that out of your way. So once you've done that, we can get things situated here with as the legs. So these gray tabs, they're going to flip in. You're going to rotate these pieces around. This section right here is just going to collapse down and sit like that, an L shape there. So rotate that around, bring this down on those hinges. That'll sit in that like L shape there. So top section here just rotates around, rotates around like that. And then you're going to take the toe. It's going to flip around, rotate, and just bring that down for now. So now you're just going to bring this up Bring these panels up, bring these panels up, again you want to push them down once you have them in place, like that, push that in, and you can close this up, like so, then this panel will come up. And we'll tab in like that. Okay, just make sure you got everything nice and squozing. Then you come around here to the toe, and the toe will just fold down on this double hinge. And there you go. And the second verse is literally exactly as the first. And now he has two legs, hooray for legs. So now we're at the home stretch here. So the last thing we need to do is just bring the arm down. Just untab this, straighten the arm out, open up this panel, flip out the hand, rotate it in so everything is oriented properly. Close that up, and there you go. Second verse is like the first. Just bring that down, open that up, flip. Rotate that in, close it up, and get everything situated. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you go. There you have Iron Arm, aka Kaen, in his robot mode. And he looks good as far as I'm concerned. A nice blocky G1 -y bot. I dig him. I dig the design. I can work with that. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his iron abs, but at his iron noggin. There's the iron noggin. I am iron noggin. Anyway, but there is the head sculpt. Nice silver paint for the face. Nice metallic blue for the eyes. It's kind of a very uh, hook constructor con head going on there. But I can work with it. It looks good. Looks good to me. You can see you got some red there on the chest, some orange as well, and a whole lot of gray and black, but that is his paint scheme, so it works. Got some orange there on the legs, got some silver on the toes. Oh no, not too shabby. There's the back, there's the iron booty, and the iron backpack. The backpack is accurate to his, uh, to his character model, so... That works out 
quite, quite well. And now articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you do have all your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down head, can do a full 360 arms. Can do a full 360, they can move in and out at this hinge here, or you do also have this hinge right in here as well. So you have two points at which you can move those shoulders in and out if you need to. Uh, moving on down his iron arms. We have bicep rotation. He does have a double jointed elbow, so he has full range of movements. Um, we do have wrist rotation. You have posable hands, a thumb is on a ball joint at the base, and then a hinge right here, and then each finger is on a ball joint at the base, although you don't get too much splay out of those, but they're, they are on a ball joint, and then a hinge midway. Um, you do have waist rotation. You can move these plates, crossing the butt plates out of the way to accommodate your leg movement. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far. Stiff ratchets, not too stiff, thankfully. Outward. You can almost get the full splits. Woo. You get thigh rotation. You get over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And as far as the feet go, I mean, the only thing that moves are his toes. Um, they can't really move up, they can move down some. And there is your ankle tilted, but that's the only thing that kind of tilts there. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get some weaponry. Uh, we get his little, his little pistol right here. Got a little bit of orange in it. Very simplistic, but looks quite good. And you also get not one, but two of these big old cannons here. Do have a bit of silver in it on this one and this one. You have that bit of orange. Now these will make the combined mode gun, which is nice. I'll show off how that works in a little bit, but he can hold these individually if you want. We can just hold his little pistol. Totally up to you what you want to do, but we'll do this. We'll give him uh, this little gun right here. It's the, uh, the, the, the tab is in his palm and the slot is in the handle of the gun itself. And I'll give him this one because I like this one better. This one's a little bit better suited for him, I think. Although this one works too, again, do what you want to do, as always, your toy, despite however you wish. Just kind of get his fingers through that, and just get that tab in there, and there we go. We can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, I did not have that tabbed in properly, but you get the idea. He can pew pew, he can bang bang, he can do all of that, all of that right there. There you go, pew pewing, bang banging, cool! You do also get the, uh, the magnetized coupling here. So you can connect your trains together. And you also get some uh, some spare parts here. You get some uh, some spare windshields that go here. So if they happen to pop out, you got extras. And you also get some screw hole covers as well. And I'll show you where these go. Put your arms down, please. Put your iron arms down. So one of them is, again, these legs are the same mold and the hips are just um, inverted. So on this side, the screw hole cover goes right here in this corner. And on the other side, it goes right here in this corner. Then you get two more screw hole covers, which go in the backpack right here. So right here on either side. So that's where those screw hole covers go when you take those out of the box. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with MP44 Prime, and here he is with his fellow teammates here, so we can see how the team is coming along, and they do look quite, quite good together, so there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation again. Shall we let's? So let's get him into choo-choo mode. So to begin, we're going to rotate the hand down, open up this panel, flip the hand in, close that up. Make sure all that locks as it should. There we go. And then you just want to bring the arm all the way up and that will just tab in right here like that you kind of bring that up and get that out of the way second verse is like the first again rotate 
it palm down, open that up, flip that in, close it up, and tab that in, like so. Again, just bring that up and get that out of your way. So now we're going to just kind of start undoing things here. So undo the backpack, get that out of the way. Again, you might have to, oh, you want to bring your arms up to under these panels here so you can bring all this out. Bring all this out. Again, you might need your spudger, some kind of tool, just to untap that. Get all that opened up. And boom, get all this freed up like so. So once you have done that, you gotta take these sections here and just extend this all the way out, extend that out, and then you're going to split these. You have a little hook tab here, so you wanna pull one side up and one side down, and then you can untab the rest of it and just swing it out to the side like so. The same thing on the other side, just bring that all the way out, all the way out, unhook, and bring all of that out like that. And now he just looks like he exploded, but trust me, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere with this. We're going somewhere with this. So now we need to uh, come down here. Actually, before we do this, we'll uh, slide. We'll just slide an arm down here so we can just rotate his head in. There we go. Just to get that a little bit done. And just get things out of our way. So now we're going to open up the crotch, open up the butt here, just kind of undo the little crotch lock in there, bring that up. You can then flip these little bits back in. It's not mission critical if you leave these out. Sometimes I forget to flip them back in, but you're supposed to flip them back in. So once you've done that, you want to rotate the legs outward at the thigh. So what's going to happen here is you're going to then bring the leg up and this tab will end up going into this slot right here. So slide this all the way down like so. And you're going into that slot there. So bring that leg up. And this part could be a little bit of a pain in the bootox, but it's doable. It's doable. There you go. That should tab in right there like so and then you're going to take this and this is going to tab in on either side like that and again do the same thing on the other side you have to do some little readjustments here because sometimes the tabs don't line up but there we go so you have to do some little like micro adjustments here and there there you go you want that tabbed in like that so you got that going on and you're gonna do the same thing on, on the other side. Just bring this down. Again, this pulse is annoying because things just don't want to cooperate. There we go. So, there we go, bring that down. That should sit right there. And then you just tab in the sides, like so, and like so. And get the other side tabbed in. Come on. There we go. And get that all lined up like that. So now we got that going on. Now we got them doing the splits. Yay! Hooray for splits. So now we can just kind of sit him down. And he still looks like he exploded, but. We're not done yet, so let's undo the backpack here. And again, just try to get this out of our way as best we can. So what we are going to do here is we are going to now bring this up. Now this is going to shift down on this hinge here. So swing this down on this hinge, bring it down so that way this will tab in this lower slot in here so that will tab in like that and once you've done that you can take this crunch panel here bring it up oh, one thing they want you to do is they want you to bring out these little pieces here so bring these out like that and then you have these two tabs that will go into these two slots right here so just use those hinges 
and that will tab in on either side right there and right there. Once you've done that, these side panels here, you're just going to shift down like so and like so. And that's how you want that looking. I know, it's kind of a sloppy transformation, but it is. It's a sloppy transformation. It just kind of is, unfortunately. Um, so you're doing the same thing on the other side. Again, just bringing this panel down on that hinge. You can tab this into place. And then flip out these bits here. Like that, and flip all this in. Again, that will just tab in on either side. Put them into place, and there you go, and there you go. And then just shift these panels down. Like that, and that's how you want that looking right there. In the process, these bits may pop out. That's annoying, but it is what it is. That's okay. We'll get all this secured up in a little bit. So now we need to work on the legs. So you're going to take the toe and just bring it back up like that. And then we are going to turn this around. We're going to open this up like so. We're going to rotate this around. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open all this up. Again, just pop it out, pull it up, so you're bringing out the rest of the way. These sections here, you're going to rotate back around. These sections you're going to bring up like so, and bring that up like that. So you're going to rotate these panels all the way around. Actually, you're going to rotate this around like that. And now we're going to take this section here, rotate this out, flip this little panel down, and you're going to bring the foot up, and the foot will sit right in here like that, and then you can bring that back in like so. And once you've done that, now we can take all this and close it back up. So bring it up, once you have everything tied into place, push the sides down like that, then you can bring this up, that will sit there like that. Bring that down, section the wheels, like that, and then these sections will come up, like so. Little sections here they have to go over, and then they will just hook together like that, and there you have that. So, one more thing we have to do here, well, two more things we have to do is you want to get the wheels flipped up. The wheels are on very tight hinges on this guy, so, again, might need a spudger just to get them started. But just pop, pop it up, there we go. Pop that up, then you have these little retaining tabs, just like the other two I've had, even though he doesn't need it because those wheels are super tight, so they're not going to move anyway. We just flip those little bits up there, and... There you have, there you go, okay, everything straightened down here. And there you have that side all done. And again, the other side, you're doing the exact same thing. Okay, so we got that done. So now we're pretty much on the home stretch here. We just need to uh, get the floppy bits situated here. So what we're going to do is just open this up, flip this out, and Unfold it. Again, things tab in very securely on this. There we go. Unfold that. You want to rotate it so the orange is facing out. Onto that. Flip that out. Rotate it like so. And all this is going to swing up and under like this. And you want to make sure that these hinges again are oriented like that. That's how you want things looking in there so everything stays out of the way. And there are two tabs, this sits over. Like that. Get things in place, there we go. Like that. And then this panel here just kind of swings underneath this panel because there's a little tab right there. Once you do that, there's a little tab slot connection right up in here. So just give that a little push. And 
that will tab into place. Same thing on the other side, just swing that in, lined up, and that should just press right in like so. Then you take this bit here and oops, just rotate that in on this hinge. That will just rotate in like that, and then that will just tab down around to that suction like so. And second verse, guess what? Just like the first. So undo, boom, boom, swing, boom, and come on. All right. Boom, swing, and then again, just tuck this under like so. Just make all those hinges work with you. Pin that down, swing that in, and tab that into place. Put it down, just swing that in, tab it into place. Like so, these side panels do have a little tab slot connection also, but they don't hold in too well. They just kind of rest in there, but there's no real friction to hold them in place. But it's fine. I mean, they, they pretty much stay where they need to anyway. Again, uh, we're taking this section here, and this section is just swinging in like so. Get it down. That will tab in like that. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done, finally! And there you have Iron Arm in his train mode! Woo! Choo-choo! And there he is in choo-choo mode. It takes a lot to get into choo-choo mode, but once you're there, it looks pretty dang good, in my opinion. Now, it's, it's not one of those transformations, but he does have his fiddle factor. It's not a frustrating transformation, but, you know... Just, I don't like things flopping around, but for the most part, the transformation works pretty well, and everything comes together pretty solidly in all modes. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. And that going on. Actually, I guess these are lights, not windshields. I guess that would be the windshield. I don't know. I don't know train parts. But anyway, I'm sure like a million people have corrected me, corrected me already on what these are supposed to be. I don't know. I don't care. Train parts. You know, it's all train parts. But anyway, you can see a nice orange here. Uh, one thing that I don't like is this stripe. Definitely needed another coat because that orange is just all bleeding through. Like, that definitely needed a second coat. But, um... Everything else looks pretty good. You can see the nice molded details there. Got little bits of red. And of course the back just looks just like the front and the front looks just like the back. Oh no, not too shabby. And there is the top. There is the bottom. Bob, he does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And again, these can Rotate, you can do a full 360, so you can have them doing all kinds of sharp turns and all of that good stuff right there. And for comparison, uh, here he is with uh, MP10 Optimus Prime. It's the same size as MP44 in truck mode, so I use him because it's one less thing I have to transform. But there they are, so you can see how that works out. Oh no, we'll bring in his buddies here. And we can see how the team is shaping up. And we've got some big trains here, some big old beefy trains, and they do look quite, quite good together. So, there you go. Now, as far as storage for the weapons go, you can't store all this on the train. So, what we are going to do here is we're going to flip this post up we could bring down this handle here just like so i show you the combined mode gun you bring the two together flip that up and there you have the uh combined mode gun you can see very large so you have your big combined mode gun but what we're going to do here for train mode is we're going to flip down this little post here bring that up and then bring this up like so then we can take this gun and that will just plug in right up top there Boop, like that and then all of this will just plug in right up top, like so. And there you have your weapon storage for the train mode. And that is one deadly train now. Deadly, deadly train. So, 
There you go. And of course you can use the couplings to connect your trains together and just have a big old choo-choo of justice. Choo-choo! So there you have Iron Arm, and uh, yeah, pretty nicely done figure. Robot mode looks good, the train mode looks good. Um, the transformation, it has its fiddle factor. It's not a frustrating transformation, it's not one of those transformations, but you know, it just has its fiddle factor. Um, you know, and also parts flopping around. I'm never a fan of flopping around parts, but it is what it is. But all in all, though, everything works pretty well. It takes some fiddling, but you can get them together and everything comes together solidly. But all in all, he's, he's not too bad, um, but he is my least favorite member of this set so far. But so far, the set is coming along quite nicely, so there you go! Now, if you would like this or any of Moon Studios' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Radiotron playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Moon Studio Iron Arm, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud, palm in your face. Oh, what? What is going on? Why is it so hot in here? Uh, it was a little cold in here, so I just turned the heat up a bit. A bit? It's like a sauna in here, for love of Primus. What are you talking about? It's comfortable. Comfortable? Comfortable? The surface of the sun would be more comfortable in this place right now. Jeez. Well, excuse me for liking to be warm.